Hi, this is Whiskey Bravo 2, Charlie Bravo Alpha. Uh, this is the XFT8. Uh, maybe many of you are familiar with it. It's a GUI based graphical user interface based tablet transceiver that works on FD8. Uh, we had a five band version, which is on my uh, GitHub page. Now I pushed it to seven bands with Charlie. So this is the seven band version of it. So this covers 40 meter, 30 meter, 20 meter, 17, 15, 12 and 10 meter bands. Uh, for this, we used two low pass filters. So the first one covers the 40, 30 and 20 meter bands and the second one covers the four bands 17, 15, 12 and 10 meters, which we select with a relay between two bands. Uh, is, it is again a QRPP P rig, which is sub one watt. And the 40 meter band pushes out uh, approximately 800 to 900 milliwatts in the high RF power select. And on the 10 meter, which is the lowest power output, it's around 400 to 500 milliwatts on high. When you press, uh, push the switch to low, everything goes half of what I told you now, I mean, like 800, 900 goes to 400 milliwatts. So let me show you the bands. Uh, now we are on 14074, which is the 20 meter band. So when we go down, uh, if I can do it. <laughs> Now this is 30 meter, one more, yeah, this is the 40 meter band. Now this is uh, the low, low pass filter that covers the 40, 30, 20 meter. When you go to 17 meter and save it, you see, heard the click, it goes into the high bunt pass and then here you can see this is the 15 meter, 12 meter and 10 meter. You save it. Now we are on 10 meter. The setup is same as the five band. Nothing changes on that side. And there is one firmware that covers between five band and seven band versions. And it automatically selects depending on the board, five band or seven band. It doesn't regardless. The board, one firmware covers all. So yeah, this is a brief introduction of DX FT8 seven bands version. Thank you. This is Whiskey Bravo 2, Charlie Bravo Alpha.